Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology and uh, today I am going to review uh, the three uh, rat tests that are available right now. Rat means rapid antigen test kits and you already know that uh, now uh, nowadays it's a rule that if you want to go in any other place for a tourism purpose or any other uh, work purpose also, you need to show the two certificates of uh, your vaccination or you need to show the 24 or 48 hours old not 44 more than 48 hours old RT-PCR test some places also give you the relaxation and they also accept the rat test that is rapid antigen test so today I'll be reviewing three important rapid and three most popular rapid antigen test kits that are available right now in the market and I'll be telling you what uh, those three things are and also I'll be reviewing all of them they are good they are bad and everything so stay tuned and watch this video Okay, so we'll start with Kovi Shelf, and as you can see that they say download MyLab Kovi Shelf app from uh, the App Store or Google Play Store. So let me download that for you. Uh, so obviously, before doing all this, you should download it. You should download the app, and there is also a QR code provided here. You can just scan it for that. You can see the MRP 250 written, and the net content it contains a pre-filled extraction tube, a test card. Uh, incubation uh, instruction for use and there is a disposable bag and there is also a sterile nasal swab so these are the components so let's first download the app and then I'll open it up okay now we are going to use uh, the Kovi find test kit you can see this is the test kit Kovi find uh, by Merrill Life Sciences uh, it uh, is 250 rupees again the same price as a uh, Kovi shelf by my lab the same thing uh, it is also an, another app based test kit it also has its own app in google play store as well as in the app store so let's see what uh, these are the components of the kit that is listed in the box it is also it comes with a, a cardboard box that is a better option i believe than a plastic one so let's see uh, what's inside and we'll also see how to test and it also has the similar things 15 minutes uh, time and everything so this is the test kit let's open it out I haven't tested it earlier. I've tested the other two kits and already showed you. Now let's see for this one. Okay, let's open it up. What's there inside? Obviously, there will be a swab. This is the nasal swab, the big one. Okay. And what else? We have this uh, instruction manual, and this is kind of a book. Two separate instruction manuals. I don't know why. It provided two separate instruction manual, uh, one in, in Hindi, one is in uh, English. Okay, fine. Other test kits provide that uh, two along with each other. Uh, okay, this is the, this is a bigger ampule, you can see. It has the buffer totally separated and it has uh, the chamber totally separated. In the other examples, we saw the buffer chamber inside one, but here two completely separate units. Okay, fine. Uh, anything else inside uh, okay this is the test kit stand this is really important and actually I miss this test, test kit stand in case of both Kobe shelf as well as Kobe find but now I got it for uh, pan bio that's a good thing that's a good inclusion and obviously the kit itself okay these are the components and now the process is the same We'll take a nasal swab and then uh, we'll, we'll put it inside this and we'll also put some drops of the buffer, uh, then mix it for some time and then uh, put it two drops in this test cassette. And to hold this tube, we have this holder. That's how simple it is. And everything is written here clearly. Okay, and uh, this is also an app based process. You can see this QR code. It says if you scan this QR code, it will open up the app. So let's see the app based process first because uh, this is really important so that you can generate a report and the report can help us. And then take the swab and obviously remember open the, the swab always from the other end. So this is the brush end. So open it from the opposite end and take it out. This is the brush. And now what you simply do, you put it inside your nose. One side two sides, both sides are done. Rotate it couple of times so that you get enough amount of samples. Now take this, uncap, place this inside like this. Okay, 
rotate it couple of times like this okay once it's done it's done you take it out you put it inside uh, the packet from where you got it and then close this close this okay so now your solution is ready you just uh, vortex it for for a time it's ready it's ready for the drop addition now i will open this cap and put the drop on this cassette on this okay so here we have and we are going to put the drops two drops uh, enough drop one drop two that's done that's kind of it uh, one more difference I can see with this Kobe find with the Kobe shelf is that they give more buffer. They give more buffer. This one, uh, Kobe find they they give more buffer. So if you waste some one or two drops, you can still use it for second time. Okay. So now you simply need to wait for 15 minutes. Turn on the countdown timer in the app and wait for 15 minutes uh, to get the report to get the result. And remember, there are two things in here. One is C. One is T. Let me simply show you in this side. C for control, T for test. Okay. If there is only one band at C, that is that means you're negative for the COVID-19 antigen. If there is two band, one in C, one at T, that means you're positive for COVID-19 antigen. And if there is no band at C, whatever, that means the test kit is damaged and it's not working. Okay. That's the simple funda. Okay, so now you can see the test is almost at its end and it's only 3 seconds to 1 and the time is up and you need to put the cassette placement properly here. For best result, position the test cassette vertically as they said. Okay, position it vertically and on a dark surface. Okay, so let's put it vertically in a dark surface and click proceed. And it will take the picture. Move closer. Okay. Let's move closer. Yeah, okay. It says the capturing image. Upload your test results. Scan the QR code once again. Okay. Upload your result. And it will upload it. Step 4. End test and generate report. Click continue. Okay. Report generated successfully. Okay. So now we are almost at the end of our detection with Kobe find 2 1 and 0 the timer is over and now you need to take a photo of the kit and this is really important because otherwise anyone can say that I am negative and I am positive so you need to put the cassette as per shown in this picture and for accurate results you need to place your cassette against a dark background uh, or non reflective surface if possible so let's click take photos and here you can see here we have okay flash is on click take photo already photo is already taken you see after you took the photo it says negative on the top that means you are negative okay if you see a very faint band at t click here in this case no there is no faint band at t so that's it then simply click show report no symptom it will show report that is negative okay so now uh, what we know is that the 15 minute is over so now we, we need to place the cassette vertically and let's click take photo and here it is simply click photo is taken please be patient while our system analyze the result it can easily analyze the result you can see there is only clear cut uh, single line in C in control but there is no line in T so obviously I am COVID-19 negative so it may take some time depending upon their system to generate the report this is artificial intelligence based system you can see the Suman Bhattacharji COVID-19 test uh, result is negative 
ओके नाउ द गुड एंड बैड थिंग अबाउट दिस माई लैब कोवी शेल्फ किट ओके दिस इज द इंस्ट्रक्शन मैनुअल यू कैन सी इट्स प्रिटी मच गुड एंड प्रिटी इलास्ट्रेटेड इंस्ट्रक्शन मैनुअल एनी वन कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस इफ यू रीड दिस एंड इवन यू डोंट नीड टू रीड इट जस्ट सी द पिक्चर्स एंड यूल अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोसेस प्रॉपरली एज दे सेड यू कैन डू दैट इन बोथ ऑफ योर नोजेस यू कैन डू इथ वन नोज और टू नोज एंड द सैम्पलिंग एवरीथिंग इज इज प्रोवाइडेड विथ प्रॉपर डायग्राम हियर so this is a very good thing about it the instruction manual is really big and it's pretty much handy everyone can understand it but the thing that i uh, also liked here is that the 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 cassette the cassette is very good well made well prepared the application that they are running is uh, well enough good enough uh, don't have any glitch when i used it but the problem i face is with the disposable bag you can see the disposable bag stands really short and really small for this uh, nasal swab so i put the nasal swab a nose side down so that it should not touch but actually they supposed to give a little bigger disposable bag that's a uh, disposable bag i think something of a drawback apart from the rest is fine the taste is also really really fast all right so we have tested ourselves with uh, covi find by merrill life sciences and uh, we found out that the taste is really good accurate easy to do and although they say this for 15 minutes you can simply see the result within 2 to 3 minutes but yes obviously wait for 15 minutes now it is app based uh, and the report will be generated inside of the app like an image you can show that image you can share that to the other person and you can also always go back to the history and can check the history of the previous reports and you can showcase the previous history reports as well but one thing lacking about this is that there is no pdf report generated with the help of this merrill life science kit which we found in case of covi shell kit which comes handy if you print it out and show it to other people but with mobile device both will work equally fine and the good thing about this is that this big disposable bag the big dispose bag and this this bag is enough good enough to throw everything is out and it's not transparent that's another good sign all right so i've tested the pan bio test kit that is by abot and honestly i don't like it much the reason because of the app the app does not have any way to generate a pdf report that's first negative sign the second thing is this every single time you open the app you need to fill the details of the patient so you cannot track your own history which you can do with covi find and uh, in covi shelf by my lab you can generate a pdf report which is handy which is necessary particularly in countries like india people don't understand what's there in your mobile but they want to see a paper thing right so these things are problematic so app based system of uh, this abort test kit is not good i don't like it so i'll give it a 6 out of 10 the overall test kit so pan bio by abort 6 out of 10 uh the covi find by my lab is 8 uh covi find by uh merry life sciences 8 out of 10 and covi shelf by my lab 9 out of 10 that's how the rating goes my lab covi shelf is rank 1 as per my opinion second one is covi find by merry 8 out of 10 rank 2 and the third one is pan bio 6 out of 10 it's pretty less uh the test kit is good the results are coming up really fast but uh it has some effects like it also has a problem with the dispose there is no disposable bag given so everything need to be accommodated in this very thin transparent packet which is not at all go good so it's 6 or 5 out of 10 so that's all about the comparison detail comparison between the three different types of kits get covi find or get uh the my my covi shelf by my lab so both of these are equally good merrill and my lab kit you can go with that and if you, if you need to generate a report in pdf format go with covi shelf by my lab but both merrill and my lab have the good facility in the app so that's all about it that's the comparison between all the rapid antigen test kits or rat kits that are available in the market if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more and more videos like that in future thank you